Now a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. It's hard when you have a problem not to get bogged down in the problem, but to live in the solution. If I could just focus on living in the solution rather than getting bogged down by a problem, I probably wouldn't have any more problems. That's where therapy comes in. Better help. It can be so challenging and tough to train your brain to stay in a problem-solving mode when you're faced with a challenge in life. But when you learn how to find your own solutions, there's no better feeling. Mm. A therapist can help you become a better problem solver, making it easier to accomplish your goals, no matter how big or small they are. I actually am going to therapy currently, and I find it indispensable because my friends are so sick of hearing about my problems. So I get to pay a professional who has training and experience in helping people solve their problems, and I am all the better for it. If you're thinking of giving therapy a try, BetterHelp is a great option. It's convenient, accessible, affordable, and entirely online. You can get matched with a therapist after filling out a brief survey and switch therapists at any time. When you want to be a better problem solver, therapy can get you there. Visit betterhelp.com slash ball today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp.com slash bald. Here we go. We're ready to begin. Just for Laughs is proud to present the Bold and the Beautiful podcast live. Please give a warm welcome to your hosts, Trixie Mattel and Katya Zamolodzikova. <laughs> day oh. drag day drag Ooh, is this um <gasps> is this is over this lighting? be honest is this overhead lighting i think is this, it is I, it's um i think it's, i'm a little concerned about the harshness of this lighting i think i look like a sedimentary rock <laughs> Being lit by a Bunsen burner in a seventh grade science class. How about that? Um, Welcome, everybody. Thanks for coming on down to Meridian Hall. Yeah. How many of you were at the show the other night here? Yes. Well, you know, it's a big event for the dolls because they've come dressed in their black sequin. Yeah. We are in mourning. (laughs) Yes. Well, the queen. Yes. The queen. Yes. The queen. And the, the queen. So, Priyanka has yeah, died. Yeah, no. Priyanka is dead. <laughs> Canada's finest has perished. Um, but, you know, it's a huge deal for um, not only for royalists and people who are sympathetic to the royal family, um, but for people who love coffin tours. And so I'll elaborate on that for a moment. So basically... I've been a little bit obsessed with the viewing of the coffin, the Queen's coffin, of course, Queen Elizabeth II. Is it open? Uh, no, it's not open. Okay. It's not Jeez. open. It's a, that's that's number gripe number one I have with the royal family. Um, I don't know if you know anything about Vladimir Lenin, um, but that motherfucker has had an open casket for the last hundred years, <laughs> and they this uh, the Russia has they have really um, revolutionized. No pun intended. The um, <laughs> the, uh, the embalming process that keeps that dead motherfucker pert and perky and lovely. And so... Uh, high, high, tight tits. High, yeah. Huge jug. Yeah, little softballs this chin. close. Yeah. Uh. And so you can go, you can wiggle on over to Red Square and view Lennon's dead body, open casket, and yet the queen, not even a week dead, closed casket... The casket doesn't move at all. And so you just have to line up in queue forever. So I was thinking maybe a coffin tour. You know, if it's um, pulled by like a speedboat along the Mediterranean. <laughs> and, um, and like, if, if, if you know, like maybe it's like a, it's like a, a yearly thing. Like, if you know, you know. You, <laughs> and if you don't know, you don't but know. But like, I imagine, I imagine like the coffin is going to like, I mean, it's towed like, buy like monster trucks or like Lamborghinis or something. Uh And it's like 400 miles an hour down the street, down these little village streets. 
and like you can have your you could like lean your wet hair out of the window and when yes. the coffin comes it's dry do you know what I mean because it's going fast yeah it's going real and they, fast yeah. I think there's like a town crier yes who's yeah, in yeah. the front of it on a unicycle who's yeah. it's, it's, it's not these words but it's the cadence of I killed Sirius Black <laughs> yeah, it's that yeah, yeah, yeah Queen's coffin coming through coming through yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I realized um, in the, the you know tragedy all, a lot of times does um, does uh, bear um, happy fruit. You know sometimes things come of um, bad things. You know good things happen. Um, so I realized that my um, if I make enough money to buy a boat, it's going to be called the Queen's Coffin. But it's Queen apostrophe S C O U G H I N apostrophe. <laughs> Right? Which kind of describes her before the death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. And me now. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, welcome to the podcast, welcome to the everybody. Pie. Listen. You came, and you knew we were going to launch right into either death or air conditioning. I say, <laughs> yeah. why not both? Yeah. I, you know, if I die, which could happen. Yeah, I absolutely. Think, have you ever seen, okay, in True Blood, there's this part where Pam has, like, She's getting her like injections to like grow her skin back when yeah. she has that curse on her. Yes, yes. And it's like a a a like Tiffany, um, like Jeffrey Star presents pink tufted like beautiful little bed. Oh, but yeah. I'm not gonna look good because it's you know because I'm be old man. I yeah, think yeah, I'm yeah. gonna live a while. You think so? I have a lot of sun damage. I went to one of those dermatologists where they take a photo whatever picture of your skin to show you what spots are coming down the pipe. Oh, wow. And I said, well, what can we do about that? And they said, well, a lot of this, you know, the sun damage is done when you're a kid. I said, then why are we here? Yeah. Why, why are, are we bringing doing? it up? Why are we reading? Also, can I just read you from my, did you say coming down the pipe? Coming down the pipe. The pipe? Do you know what that means? I mean, I think like, well, I, I got know. I got a few things coming down the pipe. It doesn't mean poop. I, no, no, I, isn't it? it? Wait, it's not. It's, it's not about drugs. I, I know it's okay. not about drugs. <laughs> Isn't Did you it, say pipe? I thought it was uh, <laughs> the only part of this she heard. <laughs> I thought it was the pike. It is. Thank you. Are you serious? I said, yes. And who the fuck are you, bitch? <laughs> and how do you know, bitch? Who said it? Who fucking said it? You said it. He said it. He's saying you said it. Is it the pike? Yes, yes it's, it's always like, been the pike. Like the mass pike is a highway that goes no, through. No, you sit back down. Okay. This isn't about you. <laughs> It's the pike. <laughs> yes. Coming down the pike. What the fuck? <laughs> I have a college education. How, what the fuck? Drag queens, we are so stupid. So stupid. Sorry, so guys. Stupid, so but stupid, but also so belligerently stupid. Yeah. Aggressively stupid. Aggressively stupid. And then aggressively the defensive. Yeah, it's What is the pike? a pike? Well, the pike is, a th is like a highway. Uh, no, it's not. Is it Isn't really? It's the mass pike. The Mass Pike in Boston, it's a, it's a, isn't it a river? Like a, no. I don't know. Listen. Well, <laughs> even if it was a river, it would still make sense. Pipe. Pike. I have said that so long, so confidently in front of so many fucking people. Uh, and no yeah. one's ever said anything except this guy. <laughs> you are the truth teller I could have used so many times yeah, yeah, yeah. in my life. Thank you for being a whistleblower. Will you come on we tour? really appreciate it. Thank you. Will you Thank come you so on much. tour with us yeah, and yeah. spell check our life? <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, it's Pike. Yeah, I do have to apologize. My dress is awfully short tonight. <laughs> Oof. Are there any children here? We were at a comedy show last night, and oh my God, was there a funny moment. Yes. Um, there, there, we Kristen were at a comedy Shaw. show, and there was a funny moment. <laughs> you would have never believed it. I'm not a fan of comedy. Like, sorry, sorry JFL or whatever, but like, I... <laughs> I, um, as, as one of our, as the writer of our um, stage show uh, so um, succinctly pointed out, comedy is just not funny. <laughs> the, uh, the two things, ironically, the two things we shit on the most are comedy and drag. <laughs> yeah, Girl, we'll be backstage and we'll come into each other's dressing rooms in like, I don't know, one lash and half a lip and I'll be like, girl, drag is tired. Yeah, I was like, Girl, comedy is so corny. Corny, tired, and <laughs> corny. played out, and cheesy. <laughs> yeah, and rotten. So, well, anyways, so oh, yeah, I'm sorry. So, um, they had a. Uh, there was a moment where Christian Schaal needed to um, get, I think, Canadian citizenship or something. So they were doing a live dating thing where the two contestants come up from the crowd and um, in a competition dating scenario, and one with the, uh, she, with the winner she would marry, and uh, the winner turned out to be 17 years old. <laughs> 17 years old. 
And I, I mean, I don't know what's wrong with me. I couldn't see that at all. I well, couldn't see that at all. Ironically, there's probably a lot of 17 year old girls here who would marry you. See, she's standing up. Thank you. Yeah. We'll see you in a year. Yeah. Now, what is the age of consent What's here What's the age of Canada? consent in Canada? 16? Well, well what guess, was the who problem? Who cares? What happened? What was the problem? I guess, what is that? Maybe they didn't know. What was the problem? So can you legally, wait, can you get married at 16? No. Okay, that's well, the problem. What the, well, okay. Because she was looking for a husband, not somebody to fuck. That was the bit. Oh. Uh. Mm. It was a great program. It was Alex great Adelman program. was in the show, Atsuko. It yeah. was uh, Puddles the Clown came out at the end. Mm-hmm. It was like, whoa, yeah. the, like, the, like the MDMA hit or something. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. the clown walked on stage. Yeah. I was like, but you know what, though? I talked to him after the show. Wasn't as much a conversation because Puddles doesn't talk, even off stage. Oh. So what Wait, I learned about sing? myself is if someone doesn't talk back to me, I get very uncomfortable. Okay. <laughs> so your Puddles, okay. which, you know, is pretty easy. Okay. And... <laughs> I'm looking at his very, very big feet, and I go, so, like, oh, big, I have very big feet, too, look. And I put my foot next to him, and he's like. <laughs> I was like, it must be hard to find shoes. I know for me, I'm a women's 14, so it's really tough. And he's just like. <laughs> and I was like, do you want some wine? I think they have Italian soda. And he was like. And then I just started to feel like, I don't know, like an ignored bird or something. I was just like, am I real? <laughs> like, <laughs> Wait, is that part of his shtick? That he, he doesn't, doesn't talk. talk. Oh, really? Yeah, he doesn't oh, talk. Oh, wow, that's very strange. And his partner was there, this beautiful woman. I was talking to her, and she was like, he doesn't want it. I was like, how do you know what he wants? I guess that's the connection. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think it's like, Straight if you have clowns. a clown in your life, it's like having a companion animal or something. You just know. You just know. <laughs> you just know. Oh, I went to Cirque du Soleil. When? Oh, I didn't tell you. I um, But let me tell you now. New I, information? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. This is yes. wild. Yeah, yeah. Um, I went to search to in Ottawa, your country's fine capital city. Um, five people. Okay, great. Very bitter about not being the capital. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ottawa's kind of Flaptina, to be honest. It's a little bit Flaptina. Um, but I, but most... Many capital cities are Brasilia, flop, Canberra, flop. A lot of these, like, <sighs> Boston. Municipal, like, bureaucratic cities are just not very well. They're mm-hmm. just not very fun. But um, anyways, the, I went to Cirque du Soleil, and I almost had almost my desire to be a contortionist reignited, but then butted heads real quick <laughs> with the reality of my 40-year-old body. Uh-huh. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, shit. Wait, did you Trick did- things. <laughs> Wait, did you get so moved that you started to, in your seat, writhe or something? You did, didn't you? I sure did. You started to test your limits. I sure did. (laughs) I know you did. I was like, I was like, it was me me and Eden, and I was like, um, I was like, okay, the the contortionist act is, is, I've I've seen the show three times, 10 years ago, and um, I... I was sitting down and I was just waiting for it. Three, three contortionists come out, these gorgeous, lovely women. It, it was the only two this time and they were Mongolian, but that's fine. And um, they were, um, they, it was so, and the way that they were, they were doing it fast, the legs and then over and then all. Like, oh, so it was like speed contortionism. Yes, it was like totally synchronous, perfectly the, the in grudge. unison. And it was just so, I started to cry. I started to cry, I was like this, I was like. And then I started. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, it's never gonna happen for me. Oh no. no. Oh, but it's fine though, because I just don't have the body for that kind of thing anymore. A lot of wearing sort of in the like legs. a compulsion, like what's the song like? Um, like buttons by the Pussycat dolls. If it comes yeah. on, you can't not yeah. like uh, uh, or yeah. like I'm a slave for you. Up, like I wanna be but yeah, 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 yeah. Love yeah, that. but it was uh, but a lot of um there's a uh it was eleven years old. I was eleven years old. 11 years old. And I, I watched Cirque du Soleil for the first time and I went home and then stretched and stretched and stretched. And six months later, I could sit on my head. Wait, seriously. Do, not do, joking, not joking. Seriously. Do you remember, do you remember when Taylor Swift told that story about doing the splits? No. You don't know about this? No. It was a quote in a mag. Does anybody else remember this? Okay, it was like Vogue or something. And they asked her about like a time she overcame adversity. This is not a joke. This is just a story. <laughs> I'm kind of Tarantinoing it. I already told you what she says, but. <laughs> She was like, I wanted to do the splits, and I never had been able to do the splits. And so I went home, and I stretched, and I stretched, and I stretched, and soon I could do the splits. 
That was her being like what a that's, harrowing. Isn't yeah. that amazing? That's a harrowing journey. And what, yeah. a, what, a, what, a, what a tale of triumph. Well, the good White news is if you're so young crazy. enough, you can train yourself through the splits. Yeah. If I mean, you're this, 40 yeah. and you've never done it, no. I wouldn't say. No, no, no. It's, it's going to be an uphill battle that might yeah. end in. Uh, yeah, <laughs> dislocation. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But this was before the full grift of puberty had sort of swathed itself over my body. You know, like it was like I was very pliable still. And um, I got to tell you guys, any youngsters out there, you might you might want to try this maybe with a with a with a gym coach or something. But it's um it's a really unique feeling, the sensation of having your buttock flesh press into the crown of your head. Okay. <laughs> I would actually say that if you're a youth and your gym teacher wants to have a unique experience with your butt flesh, I think you should tell a friend. Or at least don't go in That is a really good point. You know what I mean? That's a really good point. That's a really good point. Green Chef, baby. Green Chef is a CCO of certified meal kit company. And Green Chef makes eating well easy with plans that fit any lifestyle. Whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, gluten-free, or you're a vegetarian like me or just looking to eat more balanced meals, Green Chef offers a range of recipes to suit your preferences. It's very exciting. So the menu is being expanded from 24 recipes a week to 30, which is crazy because at 24, I barely ever had the same thing twice. So it's pretty amazing. I will say I love the variety, but one of my favorite things about Green Chef is that because I was preparing the food myself, if I encountered a recipe or a flavor or an ingredient I, I didn't know anything about, it really demystified it for me and it made me a very adventurous eater and a confident cook. I am a completely new person with Green Chef. Green Chef like made me an adult, honestly. Like I wish I had access to Green Chef when I was in my 20s because one of my favorite things about Green Chef is when you live alone, or it's kind of discouraging to cook because everything requires buying a bunch of ingredients and then what? They go bad. But like with Green Chef, you waste 23% less food because everything is portioned out for you, for two. So it's really portioned for two. But if you live alone like me, it's fabulous because I can cook and have a fresh like dinner that night and then I have leftovers the next night. It's so nice. And like I said, there's vegan, vegetarian, fast and fit, Mediterranean, gluten-free, even as a vegetarian, you guys, I never feel bored. And with vegetarian options, it's often really easy to feel bored. Green Chef's the only meal that is offsetting both carbon and plastic. They offset 100% of their carbon footprint, as well as 100% of the plastic in every box, which is really incredible. You guys, personally, I can tell you Green Chef completely changed my life, and I could not be more proud to have them sponsor the podcast. Go to greenchef.com slash bald135 and use code bald135 to get $135 off across five boxes, and your first box ships free. That's greenchef.com slash bald135 and use the code bald135 to get $135 off across five boxes, and your first box ships free. So cool. Green Chef, the number one meal kit for eating well and the number one meal kit in Trixie Mattel's life. Hello, it's me, an Australian. If you're like me, and there's a foreign language you regret not learning in school, it's never too late to start with Babel. Babel is a language learning app that's sold more than 10 million subscriptions. Thanks to Babel's addictively fun and easy bite-sized language lessons, you can finally cross learning that new language off your list. With Babel, you only need 10 minutes to complete a lesson, so you can start having real-life conversations in a new language in as little as three weeks. Other language learning apps use AI for the lesson plans, but Babel lessons were created by over 150 language experts and voiced by real native speakers, not computers. Their teaching method has been scientifically proven to be effective. With Babel, you can choose from 14 different languages, including Spanish, French, Italian, and German. Plus, Babel's speech recognition technology helps to improve your pronunciation and accent. So there's many ways you can learn with Babel. In addition to lessons, you can access podcasts, games, videos, stories, and even live classes. Plus, it comes with a 20-day money-back guarantee, mate. I love Babbel because I was a French speaker for a long time in high school and college and Babbel is a great opportunity for me to brush up on some of my skills for when I'm traveling to like Quebec or working in France. So it's perfect for me. Start your language learning journey today with Babbel. Right now, get up to 55% off your subscription when you go to babbel.com slash bold. That's babbel.com slash bold for up to 55% off your subscription. Babbel, language for life. Hi, it's me, a little girl. 
What's the first thing you do when you wake up? Is it checking on your credit score? Hmm, <laughs> didn't think so. For me, when I first wake up, I brush my teeth before going to school because I'm a little girl. But at Chime, checking your credit score is exactly what they do. With their secured Chime Credit Builder Visa credit card, you can start to build credit with your own money. Chime reports your payments to credit bureaus to help you build your credit over time. Their members see an increase of 30 points on average. All those with no annual fees, large security deposits, or credit checks to apply. It's important for me to build my credit so someday I can buy a house. Because right now, I only have a dollhouse because I'm a little girl. Dee. <laughs> so start your credit journey with Chime. Sign up takes only two minutes and doesn't affect your credit score. Get started at Chime.com slash bald. That's Chime.com slash bald. The Chime Credit Builder Visa credit card is issued by Stride Bank and a pursuant to a license from the Visa USA Chime checking account and $200 qualifying direct deposit required to apply for the secured Chime Credit Builder Visa credit card. Regular on-time payment history can have a positive impact on your credit score. Impact to score may vary and some user scores may not improve. Out-of-network ATM withdrawal fees may not apply except at MoneyPass ATMs in a 7-Eleven or in any AllPoint or Visa Plus Alliance ATM. But all the stars around here in Toronto, gee whiz guys, wow, we had... Uh, we had a breakfast. Um, I hope I'm not telling tales out of school, but we had no, a breakfast with it. the stars. We a did. breakfast with the stars. We had breakfast Amy with Amy Schumer. Yeah, it's Amy Schumer. Alex Edelman, very iconic. Uh, Megan Mink Stalter. Stalter. Yes. Yep. Yep. Yes, 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 yes. At one point, halfway through the breakfast, uh, Megan looked over me and she said, I noticed you haven't been looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed you haven't looked at me in a while. Is everything okay? <laughs> Girl, that was me with puddles. Was I was so like, weird. so you're not responding. Oh my God. That is, so can I tell you a stretching story too? Oh, please. So, I mean, this is like, you know, we talk about our body creaks oh. and cracks a lot. When well, we're not talking about air conditioning. Too short. I hope it's just not too short. I think you literally, it, this like Kim Basinger, like, it's kind of, you're, you're like, no I hope it's not it's so short. short. Well, can yeah. I tell you the secret? With the panties secret? sewn into the dress. <laughs> Did you want to see this too? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> How's that for a pike? Um, <laughs> Wait, isn't a pike also a fish? We can't, we can't go back to this. We okay. can't go back to this. So we're over that. We've been going through a lot of creaks and crannies and pains. And it's, yeah. listen, drag is really hard on your body. It really is like a 21 year old drunk drinks game. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Squits on trees. That's yeah, yeah, who yeah. it's for. Yeah, yeah. For us, like, yeah. ooh. I, I've been getting a lot of back pain from, I don't know, yeah. stillborn corsetry six hours a day doing Queen of the Universe. Maybe yeah. that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I got a massage the other day, and I've got a lot of massages. I have some great people, and it's always not sexual, which in L.A., you have to dig to find somebody who's yeah. going to rub you where it's not like, so what areas bother? It's like, no, I yeah, yeah, need yeah. you to hurt me. Okay? Yeah, 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 so, yeah, yeah. Yeah. This woman, this woman, Deborah, comes yeah, in to uh, this theater, in this dressing room, in this theater two days ago, works me out so fiercely in a way that I've never experienced in my life, where I was on the table going, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh. And at the end, you know how people go like, I, feel, I thought it was like self-indulgent. People like, after, uh, after a massage, I always fucking cry. Like, no, you don't. Like, if you go into massage looking to cry, you're, hurt, you're a hurt person, and that's fine. But like, I had never, I stood up, and I was like, <sighs> <laughs> and she was like, are you okay? I said, I feel like I'm gonna cry. And she said, any release is good release. Just let it go. And I was like, well, <laughs> touring is really hard and I want to be my best out there and I'm trying to be present. And it's, and it's just a little, my body, and I, just <laughs> and I hugged her and started crying into her arms. <laughs> And she was so nice and professional. She was like, let it all out. She's yeah. like, this happens a lot. It's totally fine. Yeah. Yeah. Deborah. 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 I'm going to be tweeting her contact info yeah. if you're in Toronto. Like, she's in Toronto. She worked me out. It wasn't even that expensive. And it cried so, I mean, wait. Uh, it was extremely expensive. You should pay every penny. How about yeah, that? Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't yeah, want yeah, you guys yeah. to be like, well, Trixie said it's cheap. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I just cried into her arms for for like I was just like I'm, yeah. and she was like it's drag you can calm down like, yeah, yeah 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 you know well the healing power of touch the yes. healing power of touch yes no it happened to me just for just three, oh, she yeah, said no, something no, else wait, interesting wait, wait. that I need to talk to everyone here okay about. wait 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 she said well that's why people are so into marijuana she said you ever notice people are smoking no no <laughs> I mean yes but no not in this story no. So she goes, a lot of people are smoking marijuana. She goes, watch people who smoke marijuana. They're always taking a little puff 
and looking up towards God, taking a little puff, looking up towards God. She said, it's people trying to connect, connect with God. Well, and I don't know if that's true, Well, I, I, but I yeah, love it. But it, it I, yeah. I, I like the, thinking about uh, it. Let, I, let me tell you something. So it was on tour in Europe, in the UK. I had to go visit a church. I went inside the church and I said, can I please speak with the priest here? And they're like, what? They're like, you're a little old. Yeah, I was like, like, (laughs) yeah. (laughs) You're about 20 years too late, honey. Come back when you have a kid. (laughs) Oh, fuck. That's horrible. (laughs) I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. I don't normally do that. Go on. Yeah, 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 (laughs) yeah. No. <laughs> no, so I was like, I was like, I told, I was having some kind of like spiritual experiences that were very disorienting at the time, and um, I, I said, I, I sat down with the priest, lovely guy, and I was like, Father, I, there's um, there's something I need to talk to you about, and I don't think he said, what is it, my child? But I imagine that's what he would have said. Um, I don't think he said child. No, I don't think he said. <laughs> He's like, what is it, there's my an old crone man. on the porch shaking <laughs> yeah. a, shaking a coffee cup of nickels. Get her out of here. Get her out. Chase her out of here with a broom. <laughs> no, but and then I told him, I was like, you know, I I think I hear the voice of God everywhere I go, and sometimes it makes me cry. And then and then he was like very very nice. And then I was like, I wonder why that is. Oh, it's because I'm smoking like 14 joints a day. <laughs> yeah. Well, marijuana, it, inc- it really incre- does. It's an incredible magical thinking medicinal drug. I got to tell you, not magical to incriminate thinking. anyone, but there's somebody in my life. I'm going to call her mom. She gave birth to me. And when I go to Wisconsin, she's like, oh, I'm so happy you're coming. I'm so happy you're coming for Christmas. And I'm like, can you bring me a little mama? You know, because like for people with chronic oh, yeah. pain, life-changing. Sure. For drag queens trying to see God, life-changing. Life-changing. Yes, absolutely. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. God. Well, I, so I have a massage story, too. So I, my, I'm seven years older than her. And my, I put my body through a lot of wear and tear. I'm currently in need of a hip replacement, which is fun. If anybody um, knows then, a guy... Yeah, if anybody knows a good orthopedic surgeon, Hip donor. Um, give me a referral. And um, but anyway, so I I had I enlisted the services of a lovely uh, massage professional whilst in DC, our nation's capital. And then I he so it was a sensual massage, but I don't like to do happy endings. Hope this is not an overshare, but I don't like to get my wiener touched. Um, and, I, and and side note. It's a, uh, my heart goes out to the massage therapist community that it's actually actively difficult to find somebody who doesn't have to jerk you off. Do you yes. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is, I like people who are very, I like people who are, um, <laughs> this dress is just so <laughs> short. <laughs> oh, God. Um, but he, um, I had a, the craziest thing. He flipped me over um, and then like, whoosh, and then he, like, he, he did this thing on my neck, and I went, oh, God, and I, this is so gross. So my, my penis, um, which was currently flaccid, did like a cartoon um, stop animation, kind of like. <laughs> did you apologize? I, I was in the middle of apologizing when another biological process occurred, <gasps> which I will just. Use your imagination. It's 2 p.m. Um, and um, <laughs> but it was like an accident. And I was like, it wasn't an accident. It was a God moment. Oh, okay. it was like, it was like, Mama, there are no accidents. You were there, there are no you know, looking up no, towards God. No, it wasn't. I wasn't smoking any weed. I was stone cold sober, but I was just so feeling the moment, tuned into the electricity of the experience that I was just like, oh, I mean, I mean, you know what I mean? Wow. It was incredible. No touching. Would you say it was like the the the, no, the sister to like a nocturnal? <laughs> Would you say it was like the sister to like a nocturnal? Like it was a little After involuntary. It was a daytime emission. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. It was incredible. It was incredible though. But I'm um, um, God, it's so gross. I'm such a heavy precomer. It's so gross to say out loud. But you um, know what? Whatever. But that's nature's lubricant. You can't find a no, comparable no. liquid in CVS. And I'll tell you this: whenever you're doing like sexy stuff, whenever I've been like. Oh, sorry, I pre cum a lot. It's not because I expect them to be like, it's okay, I'll deal with it. Yeah, I yeah. want them to go like, it's okay, I like it. And then yeah, I'm like, you do. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> pretending like we all yeah. don't know. What, I sorry, know. I come a lot. Yeah. Sorry, I, oh. sorry. When I'm turned on, I have a tendency to get so fucking wet. Oh. <laughs> By the way, can you believe we are headlining this festival? I know. <laughs> I know. I know. We're never coming back. I know. 
They're gonna have Bob and Monet in here tomorrow. I know. I know, I feel so bad. I was like, I'm always expecting people to be like, yeah, it's disgusting, I prefer it dry. <laughs> you know, it's like, ooh. But um, so that was really funny. And I've been, you know, listen, if you guys, human touch, not to get, since, oh God, this dress is it's so important. short. The therapist Deborah said, do you ever think how little we touch each other, not in a like, hugging your mom or like a, yeah. a you know, yeah. and I'm the queen of not touching people. You but are, yeah. She was also like, think of all the ways you use your own body to do work, but you never do work on your own body. Wow. I said, speak, Deborah. Speak it. Speak it. on it, Preach bitch. it. Preach it, you And then she laughed bitch. and I immediately put that steel bone corset right back, <laughs> right back on. on. <laughs> Why is this happening? Yeah, the healing power of touch is very healing. Let me tell you, um, I, you know, I didn't have sex for about seven, eight years in my 20s, something I deeply regret, making up for it now. And um, I've, recently, I've recently encountered a young man who uh, not only willingly does sex to my naked body, but, but, but enthusiastically. And I gotta tell you, it's a whole, it's, it's J-Lo in second act. It's um, third uh, act, uh, mama. Third, yeah, uh, it's, a, it's epilogue. <laughs> it's, yeah, okay. I mean, it's the epilogue. <laughs> yeah, it's the appendix. <laughs> yeah. But I feel like... It's the acknowledgement, I, yeah, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> I feel very invigorated. 40 is, um, you know, it all depends on how... Listen, we all, we're all cars. You know, we're all cars. We all have different types of... Um, some of us made in Germany, others in Japan. Different mileages on all of us. And, and, and depending on the wear and tear of your car, it, you know, some, a 40-year-old car from Germany is going to be a little bit different from one than, you know, from like the Soviet Union. Do you think this audience knows about cars? You, you know what I mean though, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's just, it's, it's, so what I'm trying to say, what I'm trying to say is that I have the tightest cunt in LA. Uh-huh. <laughs> which, no, which you have to imagine though, LA is the home of the gape, okay? It is. LA is, LA is. Has anybody been, been to the Grand Canyon? It's. Yeah, it's yeah, the Hoover Dam. Okay, I'm watching for yeah. them to come tackle us after saying all this shit. I know, it's so gross. But also, I've, I've, I mean, I found myself in a, in, a, in, a, in a very unlikely friend group, to be honest, where how, they're all these, like, Olympic-level bottoms. Like, yeah. And I'm talking about taking the whole, all this furniture, this couch, <laughs> right up their ass. Yeah. Wouldn't even hit the sides. Yeah. And it was just like, so I can't get that bottoming advice from my friends at brunch, you know, which is girls at brunch. And yeah. I can't get the, that sex and city advice like, how do I take that cog I, up my <laughs> ass? And, and they're I'm, like, I don't know, just, you know. And I'm an exclusive bottom, but I, I play an Olympic level bottom on TV because I don't, I don't want, I don't want the lovely bones. I, guess. I want normal. I don't yeah, want yeah, Survivor. Yeah. I don't want I, I'm a celebrity get me out of here. You don't want fear factor. No. No. I want literally the, the shred of someone's rather small pinky and I'll be like, oh my God. You know what <laughs> yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, we don't have to really test the limits of human nature. I we know. can pretend we are. I know. And you I know? asked, I asked, um, I, with this lovely, amazing muscular man, um, uh, uh, took me to the gym yesterday and gave me a lovely workout. And, and we were talking afterwards over lunch about how I was like, you know, I'm just not interested if I'm going to bottom, have receptive anal intercourse. I'm not really interested in sacrificing half of my day, skipping meals and this nonsense. He's like, oh no, I mean, I only douche about for three hours. And I was like, three hours? Wait a minute, you said he douches for three hours? Three hours! Are you lying to me? I'm not lying. That's not okay. That's you, what I said. I was like, this is not okay. Mary, this is colonic irrigation. It's not. This is colonic It's not irrigation. a water pick. It's, it's, it's not a water pick. It's not water country. Like, it's people it's aren't not water Noah's sliding Ark. down your no. GI tract. It's not a slip and slide. Thank you. Oh. Mary. Jesus Mary. Christ. Am I, like, I felt like I was like. Be careful I, I, with your orifices. Thank you. Be careful with your. I recently yeah. hooked up with a gynecologist. So as far as I'm concerned, I'm a fucking woman. <laughs> but. Not all women have vaginas, so that's also true, but <laughs> I, I hooked up with a gynecologist okay. and I was like, everything business as usual back there. <laughs> and he was like, no. And I was like, mm, okay. <laughs> but again, it doesn't have to be true. It's just the yes and, you know? <laughs> Is everything business <laughs> as usual down there? <laughs> What kind of business you got down there? Like it, it's, it's like, is it, is it a, is it a vagina? No, it doesn't have that energy. Mm, yeah, you know. Mm. Oh, oh my God, my skirt is so short, guys. Sorry you about that. You know what that. it's giving? Like I don't know, like Kim Basinger tries on a tight dress. It's like yeah, yeah. Mm, it's so oh, short. Sure. It's 1995, and everybody's gonna see my current. Oh so, no! Okay. You gotta be careful. Can I also gotta tell you? I got a new phone. Oh, I got a, a little phone one. because I broke my little phone. Well, I had like the giant, you know, the bleh, 
like Star Wars. Yeah, like, yeah. The Enterprise, tablet. It's the, the tablet. tablet. It's the tablet. And I'm doing my little content. Mm -hmm. It's a full swipe like this yeah, on yeah, my yeah. phone. Yeah. But I said, you know what? We have to draw the line in the sand. And I got a mini. And you can't tell me fucking anything. Yeah. Because let me tell you, this is what God intended. Yeah, the little guy. We don't have to do Mac, like traveling MacBook screens stuck to our hand on a strap. <sighs> This, this little phone, listen, this is all you need. Yeah. Well, it's I'll a never calculator. Forget, yeah. I'll never forget, in 2001, the Baroness of Belgium, Audrey Snoy, she pulled out a tiny little Nokia, not the size of a Tic Tac uh, uh -huh. container. And I was like, did you love it? I loved it. I mean, I, I, hadn't, ha I hadn't had a cellular phone at that point. It's 2001. And I, and I couldn't believe it. Actually, yeah. it was the year 2000. And she, was, she pulled out this tiny little Nokia thing, right from Charlie's Angels. Remember she put up, hello? Hello. Yes, hello. the tiny little phone. Tiny, We tiny have to stop phone. the giant. I'm like the, the um, it's Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve, yeah, of yeah. giant phones now. Yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah. you need to stop. Yeah. Yeah. That's all we need. Well, I found out that I think I'm, I'm going to switch from gr uh, blue to green because I, I saw those Samsung ones, the smartphones that fold right in half. Oh, who, my who goodness. One? Look at that. Do you look, live? At that. look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Can look I that. see look it? Look Let's that. give it here. Look at it. I got a few it. calls to make. Look at it. Do you remember, do you remember back in the day at concerts when... Oh, look, thank you. Look. Look, so it's a smartphone. Sorry, this just became a Samsung wow. panel. Okay. Um, <laughs> wow. I just, I just have to, would you stop yelling at me? Yeah, I'm yeah. so flustered. God. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, <laughs> oh see, now she's, she's crumbling. Now she's, I'm being she's, she's crumbling. Into she's this. crumbling. Are you from Verizon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, you wait, I just need you to flip. I need you to I flip just the see phone the flip. close. So wait, wait, wait. I just want to see the flip. You, oh, you, have, li that. you have listening problems. <laughs> Oh, it's amazing. Flip. Thank yeah. you. It's amazing. It's amazing. I really love that. Thank you. I'm okay. I'm going to sit down. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you guys for indulging our uh, yes. neuroses. We, we like the audience free and wild, engaged, not caged. Okay. <laughs> By um, the way, somebody's got body makeup all over this chair. Oh it's my so God. Disgusting. What a pig. The holiday season has a way of sneaking up on us. If you're a small business owner, you know how important it is to be ready for the insane holiday season. And if you haven't started preparing for the chaos of holiday mailing and shipping, well, you're already falling behind. Luckily, Stamps.com has everything you need to make your life a whole lot easier. Stamps.com is your one-stop shop for all your shipping and mailing needs. For more than 20 years, Stamps.com has been indispensable for over 1 million businesses. You can get access to the USPS and UPS services you need to run your business right from your computer. Use Stamps.com to print postage wherever you do business. All you need is a computer and a printer. And if you need a package pickup, you can easily schedule it through Stamps.com dashboard. Stamps.com is wonderful because it saves me time during the holidays where I get to spend with my nieces and nephews curling up by the fire, listening to Burl Ives and watching The Grinch on television. Get ahead of the holiday chaos this year. Get started with Stamps.com today. Sign up with promo code BALD for a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a free digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to Stamps.com, click the microphone at the top of the page, and enter code BALD. Hi, it's Trixie, and one of our sponsors today on the podcast is our friends at American Horror Story. Oh my God, FX's American Horror Story New York City, or AHS NYC, if you don't have time to say it all, is the next installment of the award-winning anthology series American Horror Story, created by Ryan Murphy and Brad Falchuk. You guys, I love American Horror Story. I've seen every season, probably, no joke, five times. There's a few of my, but Freak Show and Coven are two of my favorites. I've seen them like truly 10 times. But I'm excited for AHS NYC. There's two all new episodes airing each week, and it promises to be a season like no other. AHS NYC stars returning favorites like Zachary Quinto, who he was in the first season, Billy Lord, who is iconic, but I especially loved her in Cult, along with some fresh faces, including Russell Tovey and Charlie Carver. Something evil is coming, baby. FX's AHS NYC premieres 1019 on FX. Stream on Hulu. Did you know that I was on American Horror Story? Fun fact. <laughs> 
Athletic Greens, baby. So this partner, Athletic Greens, who's working with us on the pod today, I started taking them because, this is so crazy, I was working on a photo shoot with this girl, and she was the type of gal who goes to like a lot of music festivals, like remote locations, deserts, sometimes, you know, up for days at a time, or maybe not staying up on the nutrition, or drinking enough water, or access to your normal medicine cabinet with your vitamins. And she said that she literally went to a major music festival and she was like, AG1 got me through. And I'm sitting there in drag, basically skipping one meal a day sometimes because I'm in a corset being like, how can I supplement the nutrition in my life? And AG1 came into my life for the better. I started taking AG1 because I really wanted to, coming out of COVID and entering my 30s, start being a little more serious about what I put in my body. And you're absorbing 75 high quality vitamins, minerals, whole food sourced ingredients, probiotics, and adaptogens to help start your day right. It's so great. One of my favorite things about it is that when I'm home, I have a little canister of AG1 with a little scooper. But when I'm on the road, I have AG1 little travel packs that I can put in my fanny pack. And then I can, at the airport, on a plane, backstage, anywhere, I can drink my AG1. I've also recommended it to you know, my sister, when she was pregnant, I recommended it to my mom, who's not always making the most healthy decisions with her food. And it's just, it's amazing. I, I, I can't believe it. I'm not a vitamin person. So being able to drink this stuff is amazing. Athletic Greens has over 7,000 five-star reviews and is recommended by professional athletes like me, trusted by leading health experts such as Tim Ferriss and Michael Gervais. I mean, you guys know I'm obsessed with running. In running, we talk about how if you're not training, you're recovering. And so... This type of supplement just helps me feel like I'm doing diligence to my workouts because then I'm not letting my body starve, you know? Right now, it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition. It's just one scoop and a cup of water every day. That's it. I mean, it's so great. No need for a million different pills and supplements to look out for your health. To make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. You guys, the travel packs are my fave. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash T-B-A-T-B. So it's like the ball and the beautiful. So that's athleticgreens.com slash T-B-A-T-B to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. Should we see what the people have to say to yeah, us? Yeah, we'd love to. Um, if you have any queries or quandaries, we'd love to open up the floor for some questions. Now, I do have something I would like to say, a preface. Um, try, try to keep the weirdness factor to a 2 p.m. level, Okay. We can't is, do trauma. We're not is, doing we're Jamie not doing Lee Curtis trauma. trauma. No more we're trauma. We're not doing it. No, no trauma. Dumping, uplifting. Them. Yeah, uplifting, curious, um, uh, uh, you know, things like things of that nature. I, I myself do not have very many boundaries, but I will, you know. Okay, so if you want to just raise your hand and then we'll point at you and then you can shout out your question and then we'll answer you, you it. You can be the picker. You're like a little clairvoyant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, can yeah, pick yeah, the yeah, people. I'm going to stand up so I, people don't see my crotch. This dress <laughs> is so short. Oh, my God. <laughs> Okay, let's go with pink shirt right here, glasses inside. Let me start by not laser eye surgery. <gasps> Did you really? Because you knew about this lighting. You were like, let me get yeah. laser eye surgery. Yeah. Your eyeballs would have popped right out of your noggin if you had seen us in this light. Yeah. So congratulations. <laughs> My question, Trixie. After all these... <laughs> No, just can kidding, I, just kidding. I can know I just he's say blind it? and he cannot see, so I'll, I'll allow Maybe it. Maybe he thought you were me. Oh, yes, that's right. Oh, yeah, yeah. your best. He thought you were someone seven years younger. <laughs> By the way, it's usually the opposite. It's usually the exact. What did somebody say to us recently? Something insane? Somebody at the meet and greet recently said, oh, Trixie, is... my husband, I saw oh, you a few oh, months wait, wait, ago. Wait, 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 wait. Let me say it. Okay. Let me say it. T say it. Sometimes, pause, put a, put a pin in that. We're coming to you. We're, we're coming to you. Put a pin in that. Somebody, sometimes the meet and greet is a very interesting situation yeah. because we get short little bursts of interaction um, with people and, and, and you never know what you're going to get. It, sometimes the comment is so honestly, sincerely touching, heartfelt, like where yeah. I could, if I had time to think about it, I would cry. It's so meaningful, wonderful. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's hysterical. Sometimes it's wild. Sometimes it's extremely insulting. Girl... <laughs> And we sat down and somebody said, oh, so happy to meet you guys. Uh, Trixie, my husband and I saw you a few months ago. He was going to come tonight, but he said you weren't worth seeing twice. <laughs> I was yeah, like, well, no, you're the one who paid says, $300 for yeah, a meet and greet whore. Yeah. yeah. And, then, and, and then seeing how like the gray flush of my, my skin was like, it was so and then crazy. he doubled down on it and was like, 
Oh, no, 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 it's okay. He would want me to tell you that. But do you know what I said? Do you remember what I said to him? I said, did you know we don't have to say everything? <laughs> yes. Yeah. You were like, sometimes we have thoughts that don't need to come out of our mouths. You know? So wild. So anyway, picture. I have to talk to my fan now. What's yeah. up? Yeah. <laughs> Scream into this microphone. Well, as we all know, Katya, you love the movie Contact. Yeah, sure, I love the movie Contact. Uh-huh. All these years, Trixie, have you finally watched Contact? I Has did. Trixie watch Contact? I did watch Contact, yeah. and I actually, I was quite moved. Um, I was good. quite moved. The part in the part in the courtroom when she's giving her deposition and no one believes her. Yeah. And I mean, she, Jodie Foster turns it out. I yeah. mean, she really does. She turns it. And then I was gagged. I was gagged when they found the however many hours 18 of, hours of yeah. static. Yeah. Is it worth talking about for years? Ah, <laughs> you know. But here we are. Yeah. Okay, next question. Let's go right here in the blue hat. Hello. Okay. It's direct to touch. Yeah, what's up? You're like Santa's little helper. I know. I yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh god. Oh, it's a, it's a suggestion, you can't wait. Here we go. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You're very sweet, but oh my God, am I not? You should get that information from certified professionals. I thought I was a good guitar player because I grew up barefoot in a tree. I was the only guitar player I knew. I was like, I'm incredible. Then when I went in the world and started hiring real guitar players, I was like, oh. I should sit the hell down. Shut up, bitch. It was, it was like, <laughs> when I started working with real guitar players, I was like, never mind. Yeah. It was sort of like, I was like a mom doing like flirty girl fitness. Oh, and sure. And then I saw, what was that stripper movie with J-Lo? Uh, Hustler. Yes, and I was like, never mind. Take the pole down in the living yeah. room. Yeah. yeah. Stop yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Humbling experience. Another question? Another question. Yeah, right over here. I love hot moms. Yeah. <laughs> No. I know, okay, but this, we this is do, a question we'll do, time. Yeah, we do photos that are question now, though. The dolls with you on tour. The dolls stay at home in boxes in the closet. Yeah. Yes. We are the dolls on tour. Yeah, we are the dolls. <gasps> Does anybody have a question for me? Don't you look at this person and have questions? Yeah. Doesn't this inspire lines of inquiry? Yeah, right there, you're pointing at her. Yep. Yeah, exactly you. Mm-hmm. She can't believe it. <laughs> Great. Okay, so this is a funny thing. How many languages have I learned? People love to give me credit for being way smarter than I really am. They're like, oh my God, do you know she speaks 12 languages? I'll say like, I'll learn hello in Italian. And then all of a sudden I like, I'm like adjunct uh, faculty at the, <laughs> the University of Pisa. A manager really at the Olive Garden. I, I, yeah, yeah, totally. I only know French and, um, I like Rus Russian, and that's pretty much it. I don't really know any other languages. Yeah, well, we've been working on our Canadian. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Hello, how are you? Thank you for coming to the show tonight. <laughs> Have you been down to the Tim Hortons? Yeah. Is it good? It's oh, not good. But I've recently learned that this is a very fascinating thing that a lot of Quebecois slang comes from the church. And, um, and I recently was able to put my penis inside the bum of a French Canadian. And, um, and, and as he was... Can I say it? As like, can I say this out okay. loud? As he was ejaculating, Ooh. Um, yeah, he said, "Oh, tabernak." <laughs> what is that? So it's like it means fuck, and apparently, like all the the, the slang comes from like their church related tabernacle? Uh, tabernacle? tabernacle, tabernacle choir, tabernacle choir. Oh my yeah, god! So like, and then he had said like, "Oh, t'es bon tabernak." Like you're like you're fucking hot, and I was like, "Oh my god!" It was like really cool to know. I've never knew. I never knew that. So if you're ever in like um. If you're ever in like a municipal building in, um, in Quebec City, just scream out, tabernak, and then um, definitely won't get in trouble for that. So in addition for going to your gym teacher to look at your butt, you should go down to the church and scream, fuck me. <laughs> but isn't that fun though? I think it's fun. That's I mean, fun. Hey. Hey. Oh, another question? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, right here, the, the pigtails, the black top. Mm -hmm. Hi. Oh, great. We love a Kelly Mantle love question. Kelly Mantle Finally, question. something interesting. Yes, thank you. Okay, so uh, she's seen the show twice, and she's wondering if the role of Sandy and the CEO was written for Kelly Mantle. 
And I actually, I don't know if it was written for her, but she was our first choice. Yes, I'm going to give her more credit, which is it was written as any age or gender expression, yeah. anything, and no nothing. And we just gave her the gentle suggestion of, you're a used car salesman, and we're the last two on the lot. Yeah. <laughs> and she was like, okay. She knew exactly yeah. what She's to do. She's so, <laughs> Kelly is such a pro. And it's funny because I forget that a lot of, uh, that if you're like a fan of Drag Race, um, you, you might not even know who she is because she was on one episode. But she, Kelly Mantle was like he, a, a very talented actor and she has a huge CV and has worked a lot in the industry for years and years and years, way before Drag Race and during and after. Um, and it was kind of a tragedy that she was axed on that first episode, but she's so fun to work with. And we did a huge script rewrite during the break and she had three new monologues or something, and um, we gave it to her the day before we started uh, trying to keep her on her toes. City. Yeah, and um, she nailed it. It's amazing, yes. amazing. You know when you have like an aging parent, you maybe give them like a Rubik's cube or something just to like keep it fresh. <laughs> That's with Kelly. We gotta keep her engaged, or she yeah. just kind of like. <laughs> what did she say? She was um. She enjoys Countess Lunell's cabaret. Yeah, she said, "I love housewives. I love us that Countess Lunell who does the cabarets." Yeah. And then the other day she called Tim Hortons Reverend Hortons. <laughs> and I gotta tell this story, and it's kind of yeah. her story, but I have to tell it. I gotta tell it. Kelly, we were in Sydney, Australia, and Kelly Mantle was like, "I'll get myself to the gig, no problem." She does half her makeup at home, so her drag foundation's on, and then she has her little suitcase, and she's in her day drag getting to the gig. She puts the the, the directions into the phone how to get to the theater, and she doesn't realize she's using the car directions. Kelly Mantle's in just drag face, walking down the shoulder of the freeway <laughs> in Sydney, Australia, looking like. Eileen Warnos, the freeway killer. <laughs> and she called for help and they were like, just walk down the shoulder, just walk down the ramp and call us and we'll come get you. <laughs> so she's wise and talented, worldly. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. God doesn't give with both hands. And she's too beautiful. Yeah. She's too beautiful she's too to be smart. Too beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How Another many of you question? can relate to that? Yeah. Um, we go right here, pink hair. Hey. You can stand, you can sit, it doesn't matter, I can hear you for, yeah. perfectly. Did you manage to see any local drag? Um, oh, did we see any local drag? Oh, we didn't. No. We can't, we don't go out a lot. No, we don't go out a lot. Yeah. We tonight, what's happening tonight? Priyanka? Isn't she here? She is here. She's Where somewhere. Are you? She's right there. Hey! Yay! Opa! Opa! Canada royalty, Priyanka. Now, when she leaves the theater, we're going to let her get to her car safely without being her limbs torn off. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, that's the other issue. Sometimes when we go to a local drag show, let's say the drag queen on stage is doing reveals and yeah. kicks. If we're sitting in the audience, people are like... Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, and it's actually a little rude to the it performers. Is, it is rude. Yeah, I know. I don't so, like that. Like, we don't I, like to try to do that. Uh, Although, girl... Did you ever go into disguise? Mary? Have you done a disguise? Well, I, th I think that if I wear glasses, I'm a different person. And David's like, everybody here, you look exactly the same. <laughs> By the way, recently I was supposed to hang... I said, I didn't ask Katya to go to lunch with me because I don't want her to get sick of me. And David goes, why? We all are. <laughs> <laughs> so true. So true, bestie. <laughs> I went to I went to karaoke in Ottawa, and wait, what is this accent? It's my it's my French Canadian. Oh, okay, it's, okay. It's okay. kind of Celine Dion. Okay, okay, Hello, okay, okay. how are you? Hello, Hello how, how are, are you? you? Thank you for coming yeah, yeah. tonight. Yeah. And it's not great. It's not great. So uh, we, I go to karaoke, and it was uh, it started it started right off the bat. 7 p.m. karaoke started with a girl going in on I Dreamed a Dream. Oh shh. Shit. She started the night swinging big, and she committed. Like and I was the like, Anne Hathaway one? Yes. Yeah, so I was like, we are doing depression karaoke tonight, Jesus. bitch. Jesus. Did she cry? Uh, she was almost there. And she even had a short, like, a little Mia Farrow haircut, so it was, like, oh fierce. Yes. Wow. And then, uh, and then, but then, like, two people later, someone, <laughs> some guy sings uh, Gangster's Paradise <laughs> in Ottawa. <laughs> and he's the, in, the like, Michelle Pfeiffer one? She doesn't sing in it. Oh, okay. But yeah, she's from that movie. She's in this, yeah. Yeah, and he's just going hard, and he's throwing wow. arms and stuff, and I was like, whoa. That is so, so wild. So go to Ottawa for karaoke. Yeah. That is my drag. Because karaoke is drag. People yeah. who bring their own CDs to karaoke are doing drag like no other. Has anybody done that? I don't trust those type of people. It exists? Yeah, I know. It exists? They're like, they're like I, I, I didn't get on Broadway, so y'all are going to learn about me at karaoke? 
Where like um, th that you don't even have to write your paper down on the slip because the person knows what song you're gonna sing. Yeah. Stand by your man. It's always like that. What's song. your karaoke go to? People let the party. Everyone had matching towels. Oh, Rock Lobster. Yeah. Okay. Rock Lobster. Singing because I'm if I'm at the bar I'm drunk. So I'm oh, not. We're not doing come I fly know. with me. We're doing right. like yelling. Michael Bublé. Yeah. Oh yeah. I What's almost yours? did. I well I my. Mine would be Blue Bayou by Roy Orbison. Yeah. But I, I have to get alcohol poisoning drunk and I don't even drink. So it's like, it's just not going to happen. So you're going to have to hope that people pin you down and throw shots down like your throat. Like waterboard me. Like <laughs> in, in order to do that. Yeah, I just don't. I just don't really With serve me. vodka. Yes. Oh. Is, it, is it time? We've got a, a few more minutes left. Let's I don't do want to get in trouble. Questions. Yeah, no, it's fine. Um, uh, another question? Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Thank you so much for bringing up a very you, important the, issue guys, of the climate crisis. Um, not all heroes wear capes. Yeah. They wear little mini skirts. This lovely, yeah. this lovely young ingenue, um, st uh, straight from the pole, has, um, has, <laughs> has uh, asked us just down the pike. Yeah. No judgment, of course, just stating facts. Um, she wants to know what, how has the air conditioning been in Toronto or in uh, Canada? In, um, well, have you, actually, how much time do you have? Well, we got to tell you. Yeah. We got to tell you after yeah. Radio City. Hi. Sit, oh, she's sit, just listening. No, okay. she's just a, she's get, a, back in your, get back in your seat. She's get a back gentle. In your seat. I can see we her under to watch you walk away. I'm going to stand up for this. Yeah. We were in Radio City. Have we talked about We did. Radio we, City talk. We, we did, and I'm going to talk a little bit more about it. Um, <laughs> because, listen, I am a very simple person. I have a complicated personality, but when it comes to knowing things about me, there's only one thing you need to know. I sweat. <laughs> I sweat a lot. I sweat hard, and I sweat often. And I start sweating immediately, and I don't stop until it gets freezing cold. Now, if you've ever been to a drag show, you know that it's rarely freezing cold, but here we are. I'm doing drag, the highest level. And I gotta have it cold. <laughs> I gotta have it cold. We gotta have it cold. We gotta have it cold. I mean, it, we, and now, I gotta tell you this. Our stand lovely up. friends. Stand up. I, gotta, I got a truth to tell. Yeah. I'm more heated about this than tiny iPhones, let me tell you. <laughs> they now, during our tour, they have tents on either side of the stage. Yeah. So when we walk off stage, there's a tent with an air conditioner blowing at 60 at all times. Yes. We come and right that off might stage sound and high into the, yeah. into But on the, the tour of Avenue Q, they have hand massagers, so whatever. Yeah, yeah, thank you. We come right into the, we're um, Gwyneth Paltrow and Rene Russo in Outbreak and Contagion, respectively. <laughs> and we're in, we're in the isolation tent and Yes, leery and bug-eyed, trying to get that um, the core temperature lowered, and um, because at a certain point, at a certain point, listen, any and all conditions, but at a certain point, we cannot serve glamour when the um, the aluminum siding has melted off the building. I know. Do well, you that, know what I mean? Well, that's why I feel horrible for you guys. Probably got here the earliest or got the best tickets, and it's this lighting this close. You're not even fans of us anymore. No, you're like they're like was we've that been lied to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did we just go well, to the live Saw production? <laughs> we apparently went to fucking Sweeney Todd today. Yeah. Uh, Seriously. That's the kicker. They have the right idea. Yeah. Don't we look gorgeous? Uh, Tiny Paris little Jackson. black sequin specks. Paris Jackson. Paris Jackson and, and Dove Cameron. And, uh, uh, Kristen Chenoweth. <laughs> yeah. Crystal <Kristen>, Chenoweth. <laughs> no, Kristen. Kristen Chenoweth. Crystal Chenoweth and, and Dove Cameron. Yeah. Kim Passenger. Um, Kim Passenger. <laughs> Kim Passenger. Um, let's do a couple more questions. A couple more um, questions. We love engaging right, with you guys. Um, do like, uh, we never get this. to talk to you. Yeah. Um, can you just do Swedish share? <gasps> oh, yes. Yes. I don't do share. I am share, bitch. <laughs> oh. And maybe I did pick up a little bit of the accent that I was in this way. <laughs> You should be assassinated for that. I know, so I know. Bad. But you know it what, though? Because so not every day are we feeling it, perhaps backstage. And yeah. I know if I have to juice myself up, like, yeah. like, like, um, like Trimex. Yeah, Trimex, Trimex into Trimex. my comedic cock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Trimex is, is an injection you use in a penis to make it hard yeah. during porno yeah. shoots. Ladies, so you, know. you know, she knows. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> she knows. They, uh, they, he just pointed, the pike guy went, you know. He just pointed at her. He goes, you know. Um, and uh, yes, I'll come back and right before the show, I'll go like, you ready for the show, bitch? <laughs> It's not helpful, it's not, but no, it makes me it's feel very, good. It's something about it is very funny to me, and I actually I, we uh, we kind of do a version of it where Cher's homophobic, which yeah. she's not. But I'll be like, "Why do they need a parade?" You know, and it's <laughs> like I don't know. <laughs> Why do they have to be so in your face about it? <laughs> like, like a version of Cher that's like, yeah. If I could turn back time, I'd keep marriage between a man and a woman, bitch. <laughs> And of course, she's not homophobic. But to me, the idea of sharing a tinsel wig, but being she was, like, I mean, but being she like, what do you mean you have a girlfriend? Like, it's so funny to me. Because there is an alternate universe where, well, like, Cher's a conservative person and, like, Lindsey Graham is in a beaded wig. You know right, what I mean? Right, like, right, 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 right. There's a well, version. I mean, back in the, but it's funny because back in the day, it was kind of, she, she's not exactly the most, like, you know, yeah, uh, blue blooded liberal. She's rich. So, but, anyways, yeah. Um, she, it's Malibu. The, yeah. Malibu, yeah. It's it's very funny to me. Well, I had to call her the other day. It was like, you called Cher. I was like, can you can you do the... <laughs> she called it and she said, can you do Cher? And she was like, it was sort of inferred, like, can you do homophobic Cher? And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. uh, fine. I like put in my AirPods. And I'm like, who is this faggot? You know, it's like... <laughs> I don't know. To me, it's, it's, yeah, you that's, gotta, this you is the find future little liberals nuggets want. of happiness however you can. Anybody um, else? Who, let me pick one. Yeah, yeah, you yeah know. why don't you go ahead? Let me say, oh my you've God, had my such a great hand so up. What's, uh, what's your question? Interesting you say that because... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So this uh, the lovely person was asking, we drop hints uh, frequently about uh, our imminent departure from drag. Is there any truth to that? Um, listen, every day is a gift. <laughs> every day is a journey. But um, Well, this is the truth, The right? clock is ticking. If you've ever been to a drag show where the drag queen earnestly wants to be there, it's Stepford Wives. It's creepy. Yeah, yeah. When a drag queen's like, it's Sunday brunch. I love to be alive. I want the drag queen who comes from behind the curtain hungover. Is like, do we really fucking have to do this? Yeah, yeah. Well, there's this amazing, uh, Gabriel, our photographer, posted this amazing clip of Hannah Montana, um, <laughs> where Miley Cyrus was like, uh, peeking out through the curtain, was like, oh my God, I love you so much, I wish I could be here all night. And she turns around, and she's like, get out of here. Yeah. And then flips the microphone up. It is so funny. But that's kind of like, that's, um, that is the vibe. You know, and we, we, we but, are... But, but, but there's two things can exist simultaneously. Yeah. That's like We Einstein. love it, but we also fantasize about disappearing yeah and we already have disguises but unfortunately those disguises aren't yeah. good for disappearing no which is That's why, why we have immigration problems yeah, we yeah, show yeah. up with disguises in a suitcase and they're like so you're not a criminal yeah and um, i we're, i'm already planning my plastic surgery third act fourth act but yeah oh we also we're lucky to get into this country because every time you come over here on a tour bus you got to get, we drive in the middle of the night. What time do we get up? Four in Four the morning. Four in the morning. Four in the morning. We had yeah. to wake up on the bus and everybody's in like, you know, the LGBT version of comfy. Uh -huh. So it's just like, you know, and bioterrorism. <laughs> yes. People have half blue hair and they're like, oh. Yeah. And they make you walk into this humiliating little like, you know, hello, how are you? And yeah. you, you know, you come in and you're just like, you have your passport and you're like, I'm gay. And yeah. they're like, come on. <laughs> this I, like, in here. I walked in there and I was like, I looked like... Um, I don't even think my eyes were open. No, I, my, these like two red slits <laughs> were like... And they're like, do you have any marijuana on you? I was like, no. Like, <laughs> do you have any tobacco on you? I was like, yes. <laughs> and that's all I remember. And then I went right back to bed. It was fierce. Yeah. Good thing they didn't... Like, do you have any marijuana? I'm like, why do you want a little, you know? <laughs> yeah, I'd rather you do it in the house. Yeah, I'd rather you do <laughs> yeah. it in the house. Marijuana is legal here, right? Me who's medicated already? Woo! Yeah. That's good. It's now fun. be careful. Those, 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 some of those strains do inspire some magical thinking. Girl. Yeah. Girl. My, my psychiatrist literally told me, uh, uh, recently told me that uh, weed can cause psychosis. Just so something to chew on while you're uh, sparking up that doobie. Yeah. If Latrice yeah. Royale offers you weed, <laughs> step away. <laughs> step away. Yeah. Well, I think we're almost at the end of our little... Um, oh, you ooh, know, we got to leave wait. on time because there's oh. nothing I hate more in comedy when I see the light flashing and the person refuses to stop. Oh, no. If I ever no. do stand-up again, swear no. to God, as soon as I see that light, I'm going to go, so anyway, I said... <laughs>
Because, so, you know, whatever it is, doesn't matter. just leave. Just leave. Just yeah, leave. Yeah, 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 we yeah, don't yeah. hold yeah. audiences hostage. And, you know, audiences well, think they want long shows. They don't. You don't. You don't, really. You don't. You don't. Um, however, I will. I, I know that the fans have been clamoring because I am very plugged in online. And um, I, uh, God, my skirt is so short. And I'm, I'm just going to, um, I would love to, to close with a little ditty. Yeah, yeah, sure. A um, little acapella voice thing I've been working on. Working real hard at this. Um, oh, I have a coach. Yeah. I have a coach so in LA. So delicious. So delicious. <laughs> I have a coach in LA, and we're um, we're thinking about an album of like or an EP of old standards. So I'm just getting the pipes all warmed up and practicing every day, three, four hours. So here we go. Shh. I think that was amazing. That was Ribald um, Tapestry and B-flat. Thank I, you so much. I have to say, uh, thank you to the festival. I mean, for us to be able to headline something like this, when we yeah. saw the poster, we were like, why are is we this, on the same poster as these people? I know, I was like, so. is this a joke? Is everybody making fun of us? Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. The pig's blood. I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, totally. But, and thank you all for listening to The Bold. By the way, on the yeah. poster for this festival, it literally says The Bold and The, the bold Beautiful. The Bold and The Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Which so, was a soap opera back in the we're day. We're getting sued. Good yeah, for yeah, us. Yeah, 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 yeah. And thank you for coming. Thank you for listening to the podcast. We really yeah. love doing it. We love it. Thank you. Bye. Have a lovely day. Bye. Oh, get your shit. pets spayed and neutered and get a smaller iPhone. <laughs>